America. I'm reading The Hobbit by John Ronald Rule Tolkien. I had started this book before I started uh, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. And I loved it. And I just like to, because I'm going to start over. Um, I'm not going to read the book right now, but I just want to get, you know, this one out there because it's a, it's a wonderful read. You know, it's great for expounding the imagination, expanding the imagination. And uh, I'm listening to fantasy music and getting into, like, the spirit of Middle Earth. All right, here we go. The Hobbit, or There and Back Again, by J.R.R. Tolkien. I'm upset. My book got wet. But the pages aren't sticking together. I can still read. This one's cool. It's got maps in it. Maps of Middle Earth and stuff. Awesome. Alright. The Hobbit by John Ronald Rule Tolkien. Chapter 1 An Unexpected Party. In a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell nor yet a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing in it to sit down on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and that means comfort. It had a perfectly round door like a porthole, painted green, with a shiny yellow brass knob in the exact middle. The door opened on to a tube-shaped hall like a tunnel, a very comfortable tunnel without smoke, with paneled walls and floors tiled and carpeted provided with polished chairs and lots and lots of pegs for hats and coats. The hobbit was fond of visitors. The tunnel wound on and on, going fairly but not quite straight into the side of the hill. The hill, as all the people for many miles round called it, and many little round doors opened out of it, first on one side and then on another. No going upstairs for the hobbit, Bedrooms, bathrooms, cellars, pantries, lots of these. Wardrobes, he had whole rooms devoted to clothes, as a man after my own heart. Kitchens, dining rooms, all were on the same floor, and indeed on the same passage. The vest rooms were all on the left-hand side going in, for these were the only ones to have windows, deep-set round windows looking over his garden and meadows beyond, sloping down to the river. This hobbit was a very well-to-do hobbit, and his name was Baggins. Awesome, awesome book. I recorded a video of me doing this a minute ago, so now I'm trying to like reenact it, but I love fantasy, and, and this is a, a great book. Um, see, it even says on the top of the book, the greatest fantasy epic of our time <sighs> thank you Mr. Tolkien thank you yeah anyways I highly recommend this book I'm re-recording it because I had bard music on but it sounded crazy when I watched the video so now I got this music on hopefully this turns out great I love you America God loves you too.